Welcome back to Terramator Gardens and welcome back to our psychoactive plant series. Today we're exploring a plant that's been a cornerstone of Pacific Island cultures for centuries, kava. Known for its calming and relaxing effects, kava has gained popularity around the world as a natural alternative to pharmaceuticals for managing stress and anxiety. In this episode, we'll dive into what makes kava unique, its cultural significance and how it works and what you need to know before trying it yourself. So let's get started. Kava is a plant native to the South Pacific, where it has been cultivated and used for over 3,000 years. The name Kava comes from the Polynesian word awa, which means bitter, a nod to the, dis the drink's distinct taste. The part of the plant used for making the traditional Kava drink is the root, which contains active compounds known as Kava lactones. These compounds are responsible for Kava's psychoactive effects, which range from mild relaxation to a profound sense of calm and well-being. Kaba comes in several varieties, each with its own unique effects. These varieties are typically categorized based on their chemotype, which refers to the specific mix of kaba lactones present in the plant. For instance, some strains are known for their common and sedative effects, making them ideal for relaxation and sleep, while others are more stimulating, promoting mental clarity and sociability. Commonly, kaba is characterized into noble kava, which is considered safe for regular consumption, and two a day kava, which I probably butchered, which which is stronger and can have more pronounced effects, but it's generally recommended for occasional use. Kaba has a deep cultural and social significance in the Pacific Islands, particularly in Fiji, Tonga, and Samoa. Traditionally, kava is prepared by grinding or pounding the root, mixed it. Mixing it with water and straining it created a milky beverage. This drink is consumed during ceremonies, social gatherings, and even as a form of conflict resolution. In the cultures, kava is not just a drink, but a symbol of unity, peace, and hospita hospitality. It's often shared in communal bowls, and the act of drinking kava is steeped in ritual and respect. The psychoactive effects of kava are primarily due to the kava lactans, with the most significant ones being Kavan, dihydrocavan, yangonin, desmethyloxy yangonin, dihydromethysticine, and methysticine. These compounds interact with the brain's neurotransmitters, particularly GABA, GABA, which is known for its calming effects. The specific mix and concentration of kava lactones in a kava root determine the nature and intensity of the experience. Kava works by enhancing the activity of the GABA in the brain, similar to high benzodiazepines like Valium work but in a more natural and gentle way. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that reduces neuronal excitability leading to a common effect on mind and body. Cavalactones also interact with other neurotransmitter systems including dopamine and serotonin contributing to their mood enhancing and anxiolytic effects. The results is a relaxed state of mind, reduced anxiety, and a sense of well-being without the sedative hangover commonly associated with pharmaceuticals. Kava is primarily used for its calming and stress-relieving properties. It has been studied as a potential treatment for anxiety disorders, with several clinical trials showing that kava can be as effective as some pharmaceutical anxiolytics without many of the side effects. Kava is also used to promote sleep, reduce muscle tension, and even enhance sociability in social settings. While research is ongoing, kava's potential as a natural remedy for stress and anxiety is promising, especially for those seeking alter alter alternatives to conventional medications. The effects of kava can vary depending on the strain, dosage, and individual tolerance. Common effects include a sense of relaxation, mental clarity, and mild euphoria. Some people may feel a tingling or numbing sensation in the mouth, which is a normal effect of the cavalactones. Higher doses can lead to deep relaxation and even sedation, making kava an excellent choice for unwinding after a stressful day or preparing for a restful night's sleep. Unlike alcohol or other sedatives, kava does not impair cognitive function, allowing for clear thinking and communication. Kava is generally considered safe when used responsibly, but it's not without its potential side effects. Some users may experience digestive issues, dizziness, or drowsiness, especially at higher doses. There have also been concerns about liver toxicity, particularly with the use of non-noble kava or improperly prepared products. 
However, most studies suggest that kava is safe for short-term use when made from noble kava varieties. Legally, kava status varies by country. While it's legal in many places, including the United States, it's been restricted or banned in others due to concerns about its potential impact on liver health. Ethically, it's important to source kava sustainably and support the indigenous communities that have cultivated this plant for generations. Several case studies and clinical trials have highlighted kava's potential as a treatment for anxiety and stress-related disorders. For example, a study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharma Psychopharmacology found that kava extract was effective in reducing symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder without the side effects typically associated with pharmaceutical treatments. As interest in natural and holistic approaches to mental health grows, kava's potential applications in this field are likely to expand. Future research may further explore its use in treating insomnia, muscle tension, and even chronic pain. And that's the exploration of kava, the calming plant of the South Pacific. Whether you're looking for a natural way to manage stress, enhance relaxation, or simply explore the cultural significance of this ancient plant, kava offers a unique and enriching experience. Always remember to approach any psychoactive substance with respect and awareness. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights into the world of psychoactive plants. Thanks for watching. See you next time.